Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pixark. And uh, so, I didn't actually find a desert, but what I did find was a little sandy island that I think was like a mini desert. And I ended up just going there and gathering some sand, and I didn't really record it because there was nothing spectacular about it. Uh, we'll find an actual desert at some point, but for now, we should have enough to be able to go and make some glass. So right, let's run over here and we'll uh, we'll see if we can make some glass in here and get our our pix block storage going so we should be able okay let's light the fire and we let me just craft all or i'll craft i'll craft 64. um and that's gonna take a little bit so in the meantime let's actually investigate uh this whole seed thing and so my understanding here is that you don't actually need, um, why won't it let me gather? There we go. <laughs> uh, my understanding is that you don't actually need to, uh, uh, you don't actually need to have, like, a, a, a planter or anything like we had in original arc. I think you can just put seeds straight into the, oh yeah, they'd be in the trikes inventory. <laughs> I was real confused for a second there. But, um, let's come over here, and you should have lots of seeds and things, and berries. Oh, so we actually didn't even get- oh my gosh! Look at all of that! Uh, so we actually didn't even get- I thought we were giving the dodos berries that we gathered here, but we didn't even actually even get the berries from here. Um, oh! Okay, so you do have to water it. Uh, let's gather up most of these, and I'll leave some berries for her here and let's see let's head back or first of all i want to see so if we go pipe i think there's pipes yes so we have intake pipes so let's go ahead and we'll craft that and these don't seem to take too much and so what we should be able to do is let's just stick that here we'll go and okay we can't it requires connection to water so Let's. Ooh, how do we want to do this? Um, I want to water this area, and so I think one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four. So if we put it right here, we should be able to run water to our garden as well. And so if we put it right here, there we go. And then I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to cancel production. I'm going to take all of these guys and let's release the dodos. Release dodo, release dodo, release dodo, release dodo. And we should be able to put all of them into picks blocks. And then, oh, and then we're encumbered. <laughs> we might have to drop some things, but uh, we'll see when we get there. Oops, I messed it up. And here we go. Uh, we are going to be encumbered a little bit here, but I want to move some of this stuff out. And these guys will actually, I can't even move at all. Okay, um, let's drop some berries. I'm going to just transfer a bunch of, uh, transfer, here, we can hit transfer same items, or... Let, we'll put one dodo in here, uh, just for the time being, so we can so we can store some things here. So transfer, um, or yeah, sure. There we go, and we'll just keep our berries in there. Um, let's let's do this first. I'll come in here, and we have enough glass now. So let's. I'll leave that crafting, and we should be able to go to our workbench now, and structures, storage, picks block container. When the structure is active, creatures will be released automatically when your tribe is under your tame limit. I don't want that to happen. I just want to use this as um, a temporary storage thing. And I'm actually going to craft two of them. And here we go. So let's see. We'll put those right there. We have some dodos we can put into them. And I'll put... We'll put these on the top, I think. Uh, because we'll start off, and our first one will actually be storage for, um, 
for pteranodons. So we'll go seven. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Whoa. Um, we're gonna need a bigger place for this. <laughs> um, let's go up here. And how big is it? If we look here, it's gargantuan. My goodness. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but wow. All right, so it's a three by three, it looks like. Um, we'll pick up these and... Actually, let's uh, let's just make this easier on ourselves, and we'll swap out some of our dodo areas for them. We'll put, like, two on the end. Um, we'll put the wood ceiling in here. Let's go back. We'll do this from below. There we go. And we'll do this from below. We'll actually remove... Um, we'll remove... Are you going to let me put that away? There we go. Um, can we... I'll just demolish these because these should be the same size. And then we can use these spaces for our uh, our pix block storage. And I mean, I probably won't need that many dodo uh, dodo ones anyway. So is there any difference between the sides? I think this is the front. Um, is that it's spaced wrong? Okay. <laughs> um, shoot. Well, I guess that makes sense. So we'll do that, and then we'll put this right here. And there we go. So there's our Pix block storage. Let's put six here, and there we go. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just uh, destroy some of these. So where are we looking? We're looking at this one. And there we go. All right. And we'll put the other one right across from here. And we should be able to keep uh, quite a few Pix blocks in here. So let's see. Um, I'm going to hold this. I don't want to enable auto release. But you can see here we have 24 slots. We're going to need a bigger barn. <laughs> um, we might. But um, so you can see we could put... <clears throat> Do we put our dodo in? Yeah, we put our dodo in. And you can see we can put our dodos in like this. And then you can see they're stored right there, and you can actually see what's inside this. That is really, really cool. So I don't want to enable auto-release. We're actually going to take the dodos back, too, because there's no reason to store dodos in there. Um, what we'll do is we'll store the dodos in the dodo nests. Um, and to do that, we actually have to release them. And then capture them again. So we'll take this. I'll put this back. And then we'll do that again. In fact, can we just... Yes, we can just do that. There we go. Um, oh. That just dropped the Pix block. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Oh, not not what I meant to do. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. So, <laughs> not quite what I meant to do, but okay. And then let's go ahead and we'll capture female dodo, capture female dodo, capture female dodo. And we'll go get the other one as well. Uh, but what we will do, I think, is... So we have a level 31 Pteranodon. We're going to probably sit, uh, store a lot of our Pteranodons in here. Because Pteranodons are kind of a volatile tame. They tend to... Um, they tend to die, <laughs> to put it nicely. And that's why I've tamed so many of them. Is because if one of our Pteranodons dies, we want, um, we want to have an alternative. Uh, we want to be able to make sure we're going to be able to, to have some more. And we'll probably keep just some dinos for around the farm as well. So we'll put, we'll put, I'm going to put packies. I'll start putting packies in another one because we, oops, because we have a few, uh, we have a few of these guys. I'll probably put packies and fiomias in there because these guys are also nice to have because uh, they can do taming with torpor. Let's convert to Pix block, and then you should drop an inventory, and we can just take all of that. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep pastel in here, and this should keep them fairly safe. We'll make sure we keep this place nice and defensible, and this will be a good spot to keep most of our animals, so that uh, we don't have them at, out in the wild and at risk of dying. <laughs> uh, let's head up here, and okay, so they're not as huge as I thought they were. Okay. 
So here's our 62. So I've had the 69, I think, is the one. Or there's, another, there's I think, a higher level. So I'm actually going to put... Can I put you into a Pix block? There we go. I just wasn't quite close enough. So we're going to actually put this one in a Pix block. We'll take all of this. And I'm encumbered again. That's fine. We'll just make sure that we put all of our Pteranodons in here that we don't have out in the open. Uh, now, you can't actually store Pix blocks in regular storage. You can't. That's what I... Um, you can't store them that way. So, um, it, you do need these Pix block storage containers. And we'll probably end up building places for more of these at some point. Are we able to pick this up? No, I didn't want to go into the, that menu. I wanted to... Yeah, no, we can't. We can only demolish. So, at some point, we'll probably put preserving bins... We might put preserving bins back here, actually, uh, but we are not going to do that immediately. Uh, for now, I also want to get... We have storage. We have large storage boxes are at 38, and I'm really waiting on getting those, because those are going to help us out quite a lot. So for now, though, what I think we're going to do is we'll probably... I'll store some more of our animals, but I also wanted to make sure... Let's get this dodo out... Um, release the dodo. We'll put you into Pix block form. And then we are actually going to demolish this dodo pen because we're no longer going to use this for dodo pens. And I'm actually going to, uh, actually gonna take out the grass. It's kind of arbitrary, but I don't like having that random bit of grass right there because this is gonna be, like, I, I feel like it'll be better if it looks really not what I meant to do. All right, there we go. Let's... I keep clicking the wrong button. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm about done with this. <laughs> I'm not not functioning well today. All right. Let's see here. We'll put that down. We'll go ahead and grab these. And we have a 25 packy. I don't think that's really worth a... Uh, worth, uh, um, I don't think he's going to be worth taming. So let's go ahead and craft horizontal water pipe. We'll craft one and then we can keep crafting as needed. I'll put it in the eighth slot here. Really? You're gonna get in my way like that? Okay, there we go. Let's just craft a bunch of these. There we go. And we'll craft a few at a time. And almost. We're almost there. And I'm gonna enclose this whole area here. So, like, we'll put... I think we're gonna actually probably build a wall around there. Oop, and let me go turn off my furnace so it doesn't use everything we have in there for fuel. Because uh, we should be good. Let's put out the fire. Yeah, coal burns for a long time, so I'm not too worried about it. But I don't want to use it all up if we don't have to. But yeah, I'm gonna put a wall around here so that we don't have stuff dropping in. And I'll probably end up moving our taming pen. Um, and once that's in place, I think this is going to be a pretty... Oh, we don't actually have any, um... Okay, we gotta go get some more rock. Um, but I think this will be a pretty secure place. And, uh, that'll be a very good thing. What? Why? No. I, I did not ask you to do that. Let's go ahead and we'll take some more of this rock. And we'll start planting some seeds. I especially want to farm narco berries. And, um, probably major berries as well. Um, craft pipe. Um, I'll craft, I'm gonna craft six of them, I think. And we'll put those back in slot six, which is what this replaced. Um, there we go. And I think, is it gonna look awful to run a pipe across the walkway? It might, but you know what? You can walk right through them, so I'm not overly concerned. Okay, here we go. And one more. Yes, one more. So yeah, you can walk right through these. Um, it looks a little bit ugly. Maybe we'll move that around at some point. But we should have um, a water tap. This is the other thing we're going to need. And that'll go now in number six, slot number six. So this should start irrigating places. And I think... If we put, we'll put another one right here. And I think hopefully this will be enough to get them irrigated. And now we should be able to start planting stuff. 
So what we have that I want to plant first... Okay, let's get the dodo out of here before I accidentally release her again. We'll start planting narcoberry seeds and just see. So we should be able to plant those there. Um, growing, growing. I think we should be able to plant all of these here. Yes. So all of these seem good. Yeah, we should be able to fill this whole garden. Oh, and look, and you can actually see them growing a little bit. Can't, can you, or is that just my imagination? It felt like some of them were getting a little bigger. Oh yeah, it grows slightly, I think, but it's going to take a little while. So let's go ahead and we'll, um, we'll gather that up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy the tree, I think, because we also have been getting seedlings. I haven't shown that, but I think that means we'll have the ability now to, to grow our own trees wherever we want. And so I'm gonna chop down that tree. And we'll do this. And I'll put... momentarily put... or not sand, we'll put the dirt here. And... We'll put some dirt there, and then we'll get some more of our seeds. And we'll put these over here. So we should have quite a crop of narco berries on this side now. And that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and I'll stick some of these in here. If we have the room for them, which we probably do not. Um, let's take... I'm, I'm going to take this coal out of here. And um, I'll put this in here. And then on the other side, we'll go ahead and grow some major berries because these are also going to be really important. And these are pretty good uh, to have. If we're going to be using berries, these are good to have. But we'll also want to start growing some of the special crops. Oops, we're standing too close apparently. And uh, we also want to start growing some special crops because those are going to be pretty important too. All right. There we go. Oh, hey, you're not even supposed to be in here. Excuse you. Oh, boy. This is going to make things interesting. Uh, yeah. So, we'll probably... Let's make a box. Craft storage box. We'll craft one, and then this is where... This is where we'll put our... Um, this is where we'll put our seeds and stuff. We'll stick this on the porch. And then we should be able to keep our various kinds of seeds. You, I'm going to put in a pix box because you're not doing anything right now. Um, and so we'll put you in a pix box storage. But let's put this right here. There we go. And we can put our seeds in here. Our seeds and our saplings. Anything you can grow, we'll put in here. And that'll be good. There we go. Uh, let's also go and... You're not eating my crops, are you? You better not be. Um, we'll put some more of these guys into Pix Block Storage. You might encumber me if I try to pick you up, though. Yeah, I can't even move now. Um, gosh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put the, put the Tyranidon back out. We'll put some of our other Pix Blocks away. I think I have a Dodo, right? I do have a Dodo in my inventory. Um, so I'll put the dodo in one of the pens. Uh, let's make sure we take this. The other good thing about pix blocks is I'm pretty sure you don't have to feed the animals that are in pix blocks. So yeah, that's a really good thing. Let's put, uh, or actually let's, I think we have to put you out here first. And then capture female dodo. And we should be able to put a bunch of berries in here. All right, that's pretty good. And our trike will help us with that. So then we should be able to put, we'll put you in here. Oh no, I don't want to transfer, or yeah, I can transfer all the compatible because it'll just do that. That's a good way of doing it. And I should complete that quest as well. <laughs> uh, let me just run over here. Whoa, and we'll do that. And then we'll see who else we might want to put into Pix Blocks so that we can store them. I'll probably actually end up removing two of the other Dota pens and making those into storage as well. Let's submit our quest. Did we get anything good? We got... Ooh, okay. We got 
a journeyman spear. I have a primitive spear, so yeah. Okay, we got some good things. So that's good. We'll have to use our trike to farm up some more berries. And yeah, I think this is pretty good. So let's go ahead and we'll see if we can carry a Fiomia in. Let's convert you to a Pix Blocks. Or Pix Block. There we go. And we can convert you to a Pix Block. These guys are nice if you have to travel and carry a lot of stuff. And then I have another Fiomia that might encumber me if I try to pick her up. Yes. Oh, I can still move. Okay, this is just going to be painstakingly slow to get back in here. Um, I kind of want to keep the dire wolves in, um, in Pix Blocks, at least some of them. Because I don't really want to lose them. And I probably... Oh, yeah, I'll probably put Fang in a Pix Block, too. Because I don't want to lose him. And I think he'll be safer if he's not, like, if he's in a structure. I don't think there's anything that should come from that ice biome that would target a structure. I think it's mostly stuff that would target creatures. And so I think if everybody is in Pix Blocks, uh, Pix Block structures, that should be fine. I think we'll be okay. So let's actually put Fang in, um, oops, let's get closer. We'll put Fang in here because he's not all that strong, but he is, he's, he was our first coyote in, uh, he, he helped us quite a bit for a while, and so I definitely want to make sure we keep him nice and safe. So we'll put him in here as well, where he'll be out of harm's way, and we can keep him in there. And there we go, and then our 61 dire wolf I'm also going to put in a pix block. Oops, there we go. There we are. Um, Alright, let's take this. We'll take this as well. And, oh gosh, I'm so slow now. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, well, we'll probably set up a larger farming operation, too, at some point. Um, and we're already... We have the front part almost full. There's a back part as well. So for now, this is kind of our miscellaneous one, but we'll probably end up building um, more of these as time goes on. Alright, transfer all items that can be transferred. So we have a dire wolf in there now. And I'm actually going to climb up here and let's see if we can make another preserving bin. Because I think we should be able... Oh, this could be a problem. There we go. Alright, we did make it. Um, Preserving bin, what do we need? We need firestone powder. Do I have any of that? I should probably have some in the fuel slot. And I'm actually going to take that out of here. Um, I'm going to take that from there. And, oh, that was not what I meant to do. Um, let's see. Preserving bins. I'm going to craft, like, two of them here. And hopefully this won't come for me to the point of not being able to move at all. Um, because we want to have a place to store a lot of our food. And I think this will be a good thing. So we can also make more of that firestone powder. It just takes flint. But what I'm going to try and do is put... Is this... Are you able to place them the right way yet? Yet? Yeah, no. You're not. Okay. So it's still a little bit wonky with how you can place them or not place them. But we're going to put one right over here, I think. And we can... We can just put it back against the... Here, we, yeah, we can put it... Oh, we're out of placement range, okay. We can put it here. And then we'll put something else. Um, we'll, put, we'll put some of our stuff in here, and then we can put, like, a, another storage container. Let's try and stack as much meat as we can. Um, I'm going to transfer some of this over. There we go, we'll transfer... I'm going to transfer as many full stacks as I can. I wonder, will it start full stacking... Will it? Oh no, it hasn't. We haven't even gotten enough yet. Okay. So, oh, you can't combine. Okay, let's take all this back then. You have to manually combine it. That's unfortunate. All right, transfer that, transfer that. Transfer anything that still has a 20 in it, I'm definitely going to want to transfer. Um, oh wow, okay, I don't know. Okay, there's another 20. There's a 20. Let's make sure... We're spacing this out. There's a 20. There's a 20 now. 20. Alright. 20. There we go. We're getting this sorted out. Alright, there's a 20. And 
then one more 20, two more 20s, two more 20s, okay. I'm also going to put some stacks of carrion in here because that can be good to have for some creatures. And, ooh, we didn't even get all of our seeds put away yet, did we? Alright, we'll put some of this in here. This should be good. In fact, let's actually, I'll keep the carrion for the other one and we'll keep that over by our, um, we'll keep that over by the, um, oh gosh, it's spoiling already. Oh no, okay. I'll put all, I'll put all of our meat in here. We'll keep this. And then where's our firestone powder? Where did that go? It's right here. So I'm going to I'm going to transfer all items. Oh, no, that wasn't what I meant to do. You can keep that in a preserving bin. Oh, you might actually need that, but I wanted to put this in here. And then how do you make this? You need you need cooked meat to make jerky. Okay. Well, for now, we've been surviving off of eggs, so that might uh, that might be okay. But I'm going to actually break this. We'll demolish this. And we're now encumbered again. But we'll probably end up putting more Pix Block containers over here. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take where... Oh, it's, it's already in there. I, I'm just blind. All right. So it's obstructed. Oh, it was out of placement range, but we can put it here. And so we'll be able to do this, and then I can probably put some more storage over here, or I could put like a, I could put our mortar and pestle, and we could do something with that. But let's put our carrion in here, because carrion is something that you need to make sleepy potions, and those end up becoming important. Uh, do we have more firestone powder in here? We do. Okay, and we'll take that. And I'm going to put some more Firestone Powder in this. And that should keep it from uh, spoiling too quickly. So we'll come over here. But yeah, so I think we're doing pretty well for the time being. I'm not too concerned about, uh, about the state of things. We just got to keep an eye on the Firestone Powder, make sure it's not running out. And we've got our, our nice pix block structures here that we can start. And uh, this is probably going to be... So this is what this will be is... This is going to be our dodo barn. Right now we do have pteranodons in here. We've got dire wolves. We've got um, we've got a coyote. We we've got uh, we got a, a one of those rabbit things. But what this will probably end up being is packies, fiomias, dodos in the pens, and then maybe some of these. But a lot of maybe some of the the pteranodons. We might keep triceratops in here as well. We'll be keeping a lot of animals that we're going to, uh, that we could, we'll be, end up, uh, we'll be, we'll be keeping a lot of the utility grassland animals in here, basically. And then we'll, we'll eventually end up adding, like, a kennel building, and that'll be where we'll keep our dire wolves, etc., and, and our coyotes and such. And, uh, so we'll, we'll set things up a little bit, but this is going to be for utility animals, really, and uh, so that'll make things that that'll make things a little bit more organized. And I'm gonna start working on that in the time being. Let's check on our crops before we go. Once we get this tranid on in here, um, let's put you in here, and so that'll be good. And that'll just enable us to keep our tranidons nice and safe. And again, I don't think anything that's gonna be major block destroying is gonna show up here. Uh, I don't expect to have too many problems with that. So that they should be pretty safe. Oh, there's another pteranodon. And you can see our berries are growing up nicely. Um, it's not actually showing the growth stage for some reason. But you can see they are growing up nicely. And what I'll probably end up doing is setting up some larger field areas, probably around here or something. And we'll have some more fields kind of in between things. And like around here where we can grow some more more berries and stuff and uh, to con continue to just maximize production. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay over and out.